It's been a while since I've been back. Of course she wouldn't be here. Where are the rest of them? They haven't arrived yet? Boruto. Oh, Toneri. We need to talk. Come to the Time Reservoir. I've already called your other team members. What do you need to talk to us about? I'll tell you there. I'll be waiting. What the? You wanted to talk? First of all, I want to say good job for safely resolving the case in the real world. I wouldn't say safely. I know the reason behind your distress. That's why I've maintained this space. What do you mean? This space should have disappeared after Nanashi passed, but Tonari has been keeping it open. Really? The world doesn't know that. They think Kaminarimon Company has taken over development. You can't fault them for that. There's no way they could know that Tonari was involved. Back to the point. The reason I've continued to maintain this place is to bring about a miracle. It is a forbidden measure that's only possible within this space. Okay, this is getting serious. What exactly are you trying to do? Change history. M meddle with history? Correct. Before, I had asked you to visit the past to recover Naruto's memory. There was a limit to it, and you couldn't meddle with any of the events. But now, I'm talking about allowing you to meddle. You can change a person's history. <laughs> but that's... Normally, interfering with history would be impossible. However, if three special conditions are fulfilled, the opportunity opens for a brief moment. What are those three conditions? The first is to use an unstable space that's capable of controlling the principles of time as a source. Principles of time? Space? In other words, ninja heroes. Exactly. This space was created through the use of Tsukuyomi. Therefore, the passage of time is ambiguous, making it easy to create a connection to the past. The second condition is for it to be the night of a full moon. In order to open time, you have to use the natural ley line flowing through the Earth. The ley line is most active when there is a full moon. It's important to determine the best opportunity in order to use its power to the fullest. When's the next full moon? Tomorrow. And lastly, you need an object that signifies a connection between the person in the present and the person in the past. The object must have both people's chakra mixed inside. That will draw them together. But isn't that difficult? I mean, if they live in different time periods, how could they ever have their chakras mixed together? Normally, no. That's why meddling with history is said to be impossible. However, without it, you would be stuck wandering inside a time rift forever, without any guideposts. Boruto, you should know. There's already something here in this world that connects you to her. <laughs> Is that true, Boruto? Right now, we have the two conditions fulfilled. If we bring the final one, you will be able to go back to Nanashi Uchiha's distant past and save her, just like you wish. Wow. But what do you mean by distant past? Just as I said, the distant past, the Warring States period, when Nanashi was alive. What? But then... That's fine. Boruto... Saving Nanashi during that time period would be the best thing for her. Right, Toneri? 
The Warring States period is the age that shaped Nanashi. That was her turning point. If I could save Nanashi then... Tomorrow night. If you want to change Nanashi's past, bring the object that signifies your connection with her here tomorrow night. Got it. What are you guys doing here? I thought you might have forgotten. How could I forget? This is my chance to save Nanashi. But do you really have the object Tonari talked about? Yeah, there's something she gave me. I just need to get it back. Huh? The necklace? I'm real sorry, but I need you to give that back to me. What do you mean? Is Himawari's necklace the thing you got from Nanashi? Yeah, she gave it to me right before she died. It's really important to me. It's ours. Both of ours. This Kiseki. It's small, but so important. So the stone on this necklace is both your Kiseki? Since we didn't get Dad's necklace, I decided to loan it to Himawari to take its place. I see. You're right. There isn't anything that could connect the two of you more than this. Right? Okay. Himawari, are you sure? You were feeling down for a long time. But you seem really happy today. I don't know what you're trying to do, but... Do your best! I'll do my best. Thanks, Himawari! <laughs> Alright, I'm ready. Oh, you two are here. We want to see how it will turn out. Did you get the object that connects you to Nanashi? Yeah. Oh crap, that's from the real world, so there's no way I can bring it here. That's true. I thought it would follow me if I kept a good grip on it. <laughs> that's fine. As long as you had it on, you'll be able to call it. Whoa! Now we have everything. I will now open a door that connects to the past, using the ninja hero's environment as a source. Using the ley line will open the door. Then using Boruto and Nanashi's combined kiseki will send you to the past. All that would be left is for you to save her in the past. It'd fix everything. It's finally time. What is it, Toneri? Before you meddle with history, there is one important decision you have to make. Decision? What decision am I gonna have to make after coming this far? Let's say you change history and safely resolve Nanashi's past. Yeah, that's why I'm going back. But... When you save Nanashi, Zero's revolt would never happen. What? Nanashi was the key to Zero's revolt. However, if you go into the past and save Nanashi, and she leads a life that didn't have her ending up being sealed, the chance of Nanashi ever appearing in our present day would be gone too. Without Nanashi as their key, Zero wouldn't be able to revolt. In other words, Zero's revolt never would have happened. In turn, you would have never stopped the revolt, including going back to your father's past. <sighs> One more thing. If Zero's revolt never happened, there's another really important event that would also be negated. Mitsuki. You'll figure it out if you follow the timeline. 
We only learned about Nanashi through Ninja Heroes. Ninja Heroes is a space Nanashi created to further Zero's plans. Their plan only worked with her ability. But if you save Nanashi, there would be no future of her helping Zero. Which means Zero's plan would never have progressed, and Ninja Heroes would never have been created. That means there was never an opportunity for us to meet Nanashi in the first place. In other words... We won't have a connection to Nanashi either. So that's what you meant, Mitsuki. Oh no... You have to make this decision. Will you choose a future with a connection to Nanashi? Or will you go back to the past and save her? Even if it means sacrificing your connection to her? <laughs> it's not a hard decision to make. What do you mean? I never had a choice to begin with. I'm gonna save Nanashi, no matter what. Even if it means erasing everything that's happened? Yeah, that's fine. As long as it means I can save Nanashi. You'll go to the past for her, even if it means losing your connection? Yeah, even if it means that. Besides, it won't be that easy to lose a connection you make. I'm not planning on forgetting about her at all. But if by some chance I do forget about Nanashi, I'll still have what's important in my heart. That's what I believe. That's my answer. I'm going to the past to save Nanashi. <laughs> you never had a choice to begin with. I asked you to make this decision already knowing this. You really are a strong child. Well, I'm off then, Sarda. See you, Miski. Just like you did with me. Your light will surely reach her too. You'll be okay. I know that there's no point in trying to stop you. So do what you think is right. Got it. Odor of stint memories. We offer principle as the price, and ley line as the source. Guide him to his other. May there be a miracle. 